Hi everyone, this is Amdo Srinivas from Saimeda Koti, Hyderabad. In this video, I am going to discuss the questions from the basics of microprocessor concepts and questions with the uh, answers and uh, I want to explain some other uh, concepts related to that question uh, within this video, right? Uh, so first of all, go through the question, uh, number of functional units of 8086 microprocessor, right? See, uh, functional units, this is also one of the important questions from the microprocessor concept and this concept is useful for both uh, uh, electrical and AC branch. Because according to the Genco syllabus, uh, uh, electrical within the electrical branch uh, clearly mentioned uh, the topics from the basics of the microprocessor. Basics of the microprocessor means we have to uh, learn the complete microprocessor structure and the basic processes, features of the basic processes, those are 8085 and 8086 microprocessor and differences between microprocessor and uh, microcontroller. All these are comes under basics of microprocessor concept. And according to the EC syllabus, uh, clearly mentioned 8086 microprocessor. So 8086 microprocessor means compulsory. We have to learn what is microprocessor, then what is the structure of the microprocessor, what are the requirements of the microprocessor, that is comes under microprocessor and later uh, we have to discuss that is 8086 and 8051 microcontroller because they are clearly mentioned 8086 microprocessor and 8051 microcontroller. So now uh, I am discussing few questions, so these questions are comes under both uh, uh, syllabus, okay, triple E Genco syllabus and uh, EC uh, syllabus, right. So first of all, go through this one now, Norm, number of functional units of 8086 microprocessor. For that purpose, we have to understand the architecture of 8086 microprocessor, right? So uh, 8086 microprocessor supports pipeline structure, right? It supports the pipeline structure. It's also called as parallel processing. It's also called as parallel processing, right? So parallel processing means uh, at the same time more than the one unit performs the uh, operations here, right? So multiple operations at the same time different different units performs the different different operations. So that type of operation is called parallel processing. Like uh, this 8086 microprocessor within this architecture, this complete part is divided into two functional units here, right? The complete microprocessor, 8086 microprocessor architecture is divided into two functional units. One unit is a BIU, bus interface unit. Bus interface unit, right? And another is a EU. EU is nothing but execution unit. Execution unit. Right? So, to understand these concepts, first of all, we required what is the structure of instruction cycle, right? So, to complete one instruction uh, or uh, to perform one instruction internally, it takes some time. That time is called instruction cycle, right? So, uh, to complete that instruction, uh, it takes some time. So, within that, uh, internally, it performs the three operations. So, first of all, it has to perform one operation that is a uh, fetching and uh, later it has to perform another operation decoding and one more operation that is execution execution so uh, every processor every microprocessor performs these three operations compulsory minimum three operations are required and maximum uh, more than these three operations also designed that is depends on the type of the processor but First of all, it has to perform these three operations. These are sequence operations. So these are compulsory for every instruction. To complete one instruction, all this it has to perform. That purpose here, let us assume this is one microprocessor and externally it consists memory because within the microprocessor memory not defined, right? So it consists one memory. Memory is comes under external part of the microprocessor. So now this memory uh, consists programs, okay? whatever the instructions uh, complete program the complete program stores into the memory but uh, within this uh, microprocessor internally it has one unit that is ALU arithmetic and logic unit it performs the complete operations right so to complete any one instruction first of all this microprocessor has to read the instruction from the memory okay that process is called fetching fetching operation is nothing but reading instruction reading instruction from memory from the 
memory this this operation is important here right reading instruction from the memory this operation is called fetching operation right so every processor uh, has to perform this operation compulsory because first of all it has to read the instruction from the memory all the instructions are stores into the memory only right so uh, this uh, reading instruction is called fetching so after fetching it has to perform decoding right let us assume one instruction so i wrote one, i'm writing one instruction move a comma b this is one instruction so first of all this processor has to read the instruction from the memory so that is finished later it has to perform decoding decoding means uh, it has to identify the source and destination locations so these are called source and destination location so this processor has to identify the source and destination location where is the data is available and where it has to store the data after completion of the result so everything it has to find out so that operation is called decoding so after fetching it has to perform one more operation that operation is called decoding and later it executes that operation so what is the operation of this instruction which transfers the data from b register to a register right side so left side so that operation that operation is nothing but your execution operation so every processor has to perform these three steps compulsory fetching decoding execution to complete these three steps it requires some time that time is called instruction cycle that time is called instruction cycle now these operations are divided by the functional units in 8086 microprocessor so 8086 microprocessor consists two functional units one is bus interface unit another is the execution unit bus interface unit function is fetching instruction it is used to fetch the instruction so it performs the only one operation that operation is fetching always it performs the fetching operation so it reads the instruction and those uh, instructions of course is stores into one place that place is called instruction queue right whatever the op code of uh, whatever the op code of uh, instruction is stores into one place that place is called instruction queue so these op codes are stores into the instruction so that purpose it performs the only one function that function is called bus interface unit at the same time this unit performs the other operations those are called decoding and execution decoding and execution so decoding operation later it performs the execution operation so parallelly these two fun these two units perform the same uh, different operations at the same time this type of operation is called parallel processing so due to this uh, uh, within the short time it uh, executes the more number of instructions so that is the advantage of uh, 8086 microprocessor uh, that is the advantage of the pipeline structure in 8086 microprocessor so pipeline structure is introduced uh, in 8086 microprocessor this is not defined in other basic processors like 8085 microprocessor then uh, so uh, what is the advantage of this pipeline structure so that purpose just i want to take one example i want to take one example so for easy understanding purpose let us assume uh, the uh, within the memory three instructions are there right within the memory three instructions right so without pipeline structure so without pipeline structure first of all uh, the processor has to read the instruction one that means it has to perform one operation fetching operation fetching of the first instruction after this it has to perform decoding of the first instruction and later it has to perform execution of the first instruction so sequentially it has to perform these operations and right so after completion of the first instruction again it has to read uh, a second instruction so that is nothing but fetching fetching second instruction because first instruction is finished uh, later it fetches the second instruction and decode the second instruction and execute the second instruction so it takes some time like this but if it is follows the uh, this uh, pipeline structure let us assume this 8086 microprocessor has two units one is a bus interface unit another is execution unit what is the function of the bus interface unit uh, bus interface unit is used to fetching operation so it fetches the first instruction that time execution unit does not perform the any operation because there is no op code within the uh, instruction queue right after completion of the fetching of this first instruction execution unit starts the decoding operation right execution starts the decoding operation at the same time 
at the same time this bus interface unit fetches the second instruction so parallelly it performs the both operations here because the function of this unit is separate function and this unit consists separate function right so this x unit is uh, execution unit performs a decoding operation decoding of the first instruction at the same time bus interface unit fetches the second instruction so fetching operation is already completed right then uh, after decoding operation it performs the one more operation that is execution and at the same time it fetches the third instruction right so now here first instruction is completed execution process completed later it has to decode second instruction so already fetching instruction fetching operation is completed then immediately it starts the decoding of the second instruction so due to this parallel processing time taking uh, uh, the instruction cycle, uh, cycle time period is less decreases so uh, it performs a fast operations within the short period it performs a, it uh, executes a more number of instructions so that is the advantage of the pipeline structure and this uh, microprocessor supports only two stage pipeline structure and um, advanced microprocessor supports the more than the two stages also few processor supports the four stage six stage uh, pipeline structure right just here i have explained uh, the complete introduction of the uh, and complete fu functional units of the 8086 microprocessor so totally how many functional units two functional units bus interface unit and execution unit what is the function of the bus interface unit fetching operation what is the function of the uh, execution unit decoding and execution right so it suppose the two stage uh, pipeline structure for uh, so according to the given question now we have to write uh, option b right so option b correct and uh, I want to explain the complete architecture of 8086 microprocessor. So just uh, go through this one now. Uh, so this this is the complete architecture of 8086 microprocessor, right? Uh, we can call it as an architecture or block diagram of 8086 microprocessor, right? See this part from here to here. This is called bus interface unit. So the function of this complete unit, whatever this part here, these dotted lines are given like this. So this block this block function is a fetching instruction right it reads the instruction from the memory so that purpose this unit bus interface unit is connected to the external memory this is also one of the important question expected question in computer exams which unit is connected to the external memory which unit is connected bus interface unit is connected to the external memory why because bus interface unit function is fetching operation reading instruction from the memory so that purpose this unit is always connects the external memory so this is also one of the important point and just now I explained here bus interface unit for operation is fetching instruction so that means it reads the opcode so those opcodes are stored into one place that place is called instruction queue so this one is acts as a instruction queue instruction queue so instruction queue capacity how much six bytes one two three four five six at a time it stores the six bytes of opcode opcode is nothing but operational code right so six bytes of uh, uh, the capacity of the instructions uh, queue is six bytes and it follows the fifo first in uh, first out technique so whatever the instruction reads first then it comes out that instruction first here so it follows the first in first out and the capacity of this one is 6 bytes and it is used to store the opcode of the next instruction so this is defined in which unit bus interface unit right and this bus interface unit consists some other registers those are code segment stack segment data segment extra segment and instruction pointer so totally bus interface unit consists of five registers these registers are 16 bit registers and these registers are stores the address of the external memory every segment register has one specific function right uh, we will discuss that concept in uh, some other video but uh, just try to remember here these registers are used to store the address of the uh, next instruction so address of the memory locations so that's why these registers are defined within the bus interface unit and in this uh, one unit function is instruction pointer one of the very very important uh, uh, register instruction pointer instruction pointer is always acts as a program counter because program counter is not defined within the processor program counter general uh, general function is which stores the address of the next instruction 
which stores the address of next instruction. Every processor consists of program counter register, but 8086 microprocessor does not consist program counter register. Whatever the function of the program counter register function, uh, function is uh, done by one register. That register is called IP instruction pointer, which stores the address of next instruction. And another important point, it performs the function of the program counter. That is also one of the repeated question expected in competitive exams right and another unit is execution unit so this unit is called execution unit uh, execution unit consists of ALU because ALU has to perform arithmetic and logical operations and it consists operands and general purpose register so AX, BX, CX, DX uh, and uh, pointer and index register so all these registers are available in uh, execution unit so this this is comes under functional uh, Functional units of 8086 microprocessor. So, if you want, please note on this. Yeah, another question from the basics of microprocessor concepts. A bus interface unit is used to perform. Yes, uh, just now I explained the complete uh, structure, uh, complete block diagram of 8086 microprocessor. Bus interface unit is, is used to perform fetching operation, reading instruction from the memory. So, it performs which operation? Fetching operation. So, according to the given question, Option A, correct, right? Please take this now. Yeah, another question from the microprocessor concept. General purpose registers are defined in dash unit. Yes, uh, go through the uh, block diagram of 8086 microprocessor. 8086 microprocessor. Execution unit has to perform decode and execution operations. To perform that, it requires general purpose registers, right? So, general purpose registers AX, BX, CX, DX and source index, destination index, base pointer, stock pointer, all these are defined in execution unit, right? So, once again go through the architecture, see general purpose register. So, AX, BX, CX, DX and stack pointer, base pointer, source index, destination index. So, these registers are available in execution unit. And another part is your ALU, arithmetic and logical unit and flag register. So, this is also one of the registers, right? So, flag register. So, all these are available in which unit? Execution unit. Execution ha unit has to perform decoding and execution operation. So, uh, just uh, try to count the number of registers available in H0 6 microprocessor because this is also one of the important uh, objective type question from the H0 uh, 6 microprocessor. Available registers in 8086 microprocessor. See how many here 5, right? And here 4, okay. 5 plus 4, 9, and again 4, okay. Uh, 9 plus 4, 13, 13 plus 1 flag register. So, totally it consists of 14 registers. This is also one of the important question. Now, according to the given question, according to the given question, general purpose registers are available in. Uh, which unit? Uh, execution unit. So, according to the given question, option B correct, right? Yes, please take this now. Yeah, another question uh, from this concept, uh, which register is used? Which register is used to store the address of extra segment in string operations? Yes, uh, this is also one of the uh, important uh, question. So, this is a let us assume it is one external memory, right? So, internally memory segmentation is used, the complete memory divided into different uh, parts here. So, each part is called one segment, right? Totally four segments are used core segment, data segment, extra segment, and stack segment, right? For string operations, for string operations, the data from the data segment, the data from the data segment, data transfers from the data segment to extra segment. So, string operations are used to perform the more than the one byte operations, right? So, uh, those operations are used to transfer the data from data segment memory to this memory to extra segment memory. So, each segment consists 64 KB here, right? Each segment consists 64 KB. Then uh, string operations are used to transfer the data from the data segment memory to extra segment memory. Then this in, within this data segment memory, 64 KB memory is available. From that, 
which location the location of the data segment is explained by one register that register is a source index source index register is a 16 bit register it is used to store the address of the data segment and extra segment address is a st uh, stores into one more register that register is a destination index di destination index is also 16 bit registers it is used to store the address of extra segment so SI is used to store the address of data segment and DI is used to store the address of extra segment. So now according to the given question, address of extra segment uh, uh, stores in which location, okay, which register for string operation. So in which register, DI destination index. So according to the given question, option D correct, right? Please take this now.